So how does a first time newly certified health coach sell out her first launch in 24 hours, securing over 5K in income and generating a wait list for her next launch? Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. I am the owner and founder of Emily Woods Wellness LLC, my online platform for new and emerging health and wellness coaches looking to make a profit in the online space. If that is you, if you are thinking about getting certified, you're getting certified currently, or you are already graduated with your certification in hand, Welcome here. Make sure you guys hit subscribe. And if you like this video or this topic, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really keeps me connected with you guys on YouTube and allows me to know what type of content you want to see more of. So if this is your first time here, I am so happy to have you. I am so passionate about helping health coaches as I am a certified health coach. And that's what I did for a long time prior to business mentoring. I'm so passionate about helping health and wellness coaches build up their online business and find that educational space in order to become informed and profitable business owners because my umbrella passion overall is female entrepreneurs. I love an independent female who wants to do something different with her life. So with that being said, today we're going to be breaking down the experience of one of my clients, Alyssa, who was able to, the first time we went live with an actual launch for her in her holistic health coaching business, she was able to sell out the launch completely, including overflow that became a wait list for her next launch. And she secured over $5,000 in income in that first launch. She also had a full-time job and this all happened in less than 24 hours of the launch going live. So a lot of you are sitting here thinking like, I don't even know what a launch is. These words are confusing me. Don't worry, we're going to keep it relatively surface level. I want this to serve as a point of inspiration for you, but also as a place to learn what the initial steps are. In this case, there are going to be four steps that we discuss along that pathway to generating that first 5K payout chunk and selling out a launch. Um, but I want this to be inspiring to you, educational, and I want you to be able to take away from this that not only can you do this, you can have a launch, you can sell it out, but this is a profitable space to be and I want you to recognize right this second if you haven't already that there is a lot of education that goes into creating a success story like this and this is only the beginning of the road for Alyssa since this point she has generated so much more income has so many more clients and it's literally such a powerful success story but she did not get there alone just like I did not get here alone that's why I created my foundations of online coaching program, my signature method for new health coaches who are pre, mid, or post certification who want to add to their current knowledge base in wellness with the proper business education to actually make a profit as an online coach. Alyssa, the client we're going to be discussing today, was trained using the Foundations of Online Coaching method, and you can be too. The next cohort for Foundations of Online Coaching is opening in the spring, and the wait list is already live. It's already booking up, and you guys, the incentives are insane. You get $200 off the program. You get an additional one-on-one -on -one call with me, which is huge because we get to do goal setting, planning, we can literally accomplish so much on that one-on-one -on -one call. You get additional messenger access to me. You get first dibs on discovery calls, which is huge because this program does sell out. And even if you don't decide to commit, you can put your name on the wait list just to receive free email trainings from me up until the launch in the spring. So you guys, I'm linking that wait list down below and I'd highly, highly recommend you put your name on there if you are even remotely interested in having some guidance as you get set up for your own success story in 2021. So without further ado, let's dive into the four main ways that Alyssa and I were able to create a launching structure for her that was a complete knocked it out of the park sellout and was super profitable for her then and considering what she built off of it in the future. Okay, the first and most basic thing that a lot of you guys could maybe even start implementing now in your business that Alyssa implemented in hers under my direction was to develop a warm audience. And I know you guys are like, oh my God, we're gonna talk about leads again, we're talking about an audience. No. What we did was we implemented patience and a lot of intention and a lot of action. 
behind the love that we poured into Alyssa's audience. And because of that, her audience loves her. They are her biggest fans. Anything she puts out, they're so obsessed with because she has developed that relationship with them. Alyssa used the foundations method to master her communication and conversational skills in the DMs to build the deepest level of trust with leads that you can build. She engages routinely and in a way that is strategic and not a waste of time. And she has built an overall baseline trust with her audience that will set her up for success for many, many years to come in her business. And she knows the educational strategies behind that. Um, in order to keep growing her audience in a trusting and authentic way. You guys, if you're trying to grow your audience overnight and you're focused just on the numbers, first of all, I want you to have a look at my video on generating a six-figure income with less than a 1,000 followers on Instagram because I'm going to need you to stop trying to build a huge audience. You don't need to do that. It's actually detrimental. Watch that video. Link down below. Link here somewhere. But with that being said... She did not rush into this either. There was a lot of intentionality and a lot of time that went into building this audience and that went into learning the strategies behind that. If you're interested in learning to use social media effectively in a way that allows you to make an income based on your one-to-one -one services, put your name on that foundation's wait list. That is like so much of what we cover. So let's move on to the second thing that Alyssa did to ensure her success in this launch. So the second thing that Alyssa did to ensure her success in a launching phase was to blend market research and her personal experience really clearly. Now I have videos on market research on my channel. You guys feel free to check those out, but this is the thing that Alyssa did not do that a lot of people are doing. She did not assume that the experience of her ideal client was the exact same as her personal experience. She blended what she'd experienced and what she'd seen work on herself with the information that she gathered from an active market research standpoint and was able then to combine that information and create a base of content and of messaging that spoke extremely clearly to her ideal clients and allowed her to make sales basically at will. Like I said, I have a couple of videos on market research on my channel and I have a free download that you can use to gain access to my five essential market research questions that I think are really important to take note of if you're gonna start doing market research and I will link that down below as well so that you have access to my personal favorite market research questions and the free information on YouTube from me about how to start approaching market research. Again, it's a heavy topic of discussion in the foundations program. Go throw your name on that wait list if you know that you are totally basing everything you're doing on personal experience and you need to start integrating the experiences of your ideal client to make things more relatable and more sellable. Now, when I say market research, I mean Alyssa was checking in with what are the questions her ideal client has? What are the commonly asked questions within her niche in general? What common problems is her ideal client facing both directly related to health and wellness and outside of that? And what are the different nuances of language that are going to be the most effective within her ideal client base and her niche? So if you're interested in learning more about that, the resources that I've mentioned in this section of the video are all going to be very relevant to you. The third and extremely essential thing that Alyssa did, all of these things are essential, but this is super essential. The third thing that Alyssa did prior to and even during this launch that really ensured her success was she managed and maintained her warm lead base to a T. Now, a lot of you guys are probably thinking, wasn't the first point of this video, the fact that she managed her like audience and had warm leads, like different vibe, same idea, but less specific. Yes, Alyssa had a phenomenal warm audience of people that loved her, her adoring fans basically is what she had created. But on a more micro level, Alyssa had a very clear tracking method that I provide through the foundations program and that I teach all of my clients. She had a very clear method for tracking who her leads were and what the process of working them up through her funnel was going to be. How was she going to connect with them from the point where they had first discovered her Instagram and gave her a follow or sent her a DM or vice versa? to the point where she made a high ticket one-to-one -one sale if she decided she wanted to work with this person. So she tracked and managed her warm leads in a way that by the time her launch came around, she wasn't leaving anything to chance. Like she knew exactly who she was selling to, 
and none of it was left to chance. Any additional sales and additional names on the wait list came from people coming out of the woodwork due to her really effective marketing based on her market research strategies. Something that I teach and that I think is extremely important is your ability to, as a business owner, take full accountability for the sales that you want to make. If you want to make X amount of sales, you need to have X amount of warm leads. You need to be accountable for that number. Do not expect that just because you're putting content out there that when you start to sell something that everybody's going to want to buy it. That is just not the case. You have to be fully accountable for everybody in your lead base, especially while you are a small business in order to touch base with everybody enough times to actually make a sale a feasible option, okay? So don't push the blame off onto the launching strategy if you're not making the sales you want, if you do not have your one-to-one -one contact and tracking managed, that is something, again, that I focus on very heavily. Please reach out, you're free to reach out in the DMs, in the comments, my Instagram is at Emily Woods Wellness. I'm more than happy to chat there, but your most informative place is always going to be in the Foundations program. The fourth and final thing that I would probably call like essential within Alyssa's launch because all of the nuances were essential, right? Like everything we did was like the perfect storm to create this big success story. Also, sorry if you guys hear a lot of hammering, that would be me living in a new construction neighborhood and it's just quite a time. What is happening? Moving right along, the fourth and very important and essential thing that Alyssa did prior to and during her launch was she promoted her incentives. So prior to the launch, she created a sense of urgency by creating a discount or additional value, whatever you decide is the most helpful for you. Um, she created an incentive to go ahead and be on the front end of joining her program. And then once the program was sold out, she immediately created and marketed an incentive to get on the wait list rather than just wait till the next launch happens. As a coach, if you have any experience with sales, you're probably kind of used to hearing like, oh my gosh, well, I'll sign up in the next round. Like I just don't have the money or the time or whatever this round, but I'll sign up next time. Generally, that's definitely an excuse, right? And our job as a coach is to help people work through those like limiting beliefs and excuses to allow them to actually get the help that they need. That's one of our duties in sales. But when you have someone who genuinely means that and they're like, I want to do it next round, I just for whatever reason, maybe they're having a baby or moving or whatever it might be, getting married, right? Any of these things would be valid reasons why maybe someone would want to wait a little bit. Rather than just saying, okay, touch base with me when you're ready, give them the accountability and the incentive to want to get on a wait list that's going to like triple or more the chances that they're going to end up signing with you. So incentivize your offers and your wait list that's going to be massive when it comes to success of sales. All right, so those are the top four ways that Alyssa was able to ensure a sellout launch as her first launch as a health coach and to build a super effective wait list that she is now pulling from in order to ensure that she has a continuous client stream as many clients as she wants and whatever income she wants to create for herself every task that she does is optimized and efficient and next time she launches she knows exactly what needs to happen to create success so I really appreciate you guys being here and I truly, truly hope that if you have goals of creating a launch scenario like this, that you will reach out, you'll add your name to the wait list, that you'll take some type of action, even if it's just subscribing to this channel to like learn more on a regular basis. I just hope you take some type of action in the direction of your dreams, you guys. Nobody's gonna do it for you, but you can do it for yourself and that is a fact. So. As always, I believe in you so much, more than you believe in you, I can almost guarantee. I hope you're having the most phenomenal day and week. Please reach out in the DMs or the comments down below if you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.